So match number 34 between the Delhi Capitals and the Rajasthan Royals. It was a run feast. Both the teams went all out with their batting. But yes, there was a big controversy in the last over. So let's find out the incident what happened in the last over of the match. So Delhi Capitals require 36 runs in the last over. Rovman Powell was at the crease with Kuldeep Yadav and the bowler was Obed McCoy for the Rajasthan Royals. So what happened next? First ball of the 20th over, Rovman Powell hits him for a 6. Second ball, another 6 from Rovman Powell. And suddenly there were some hopes in the Delhi Capitals camp. Then what happened in the third ball? So third ball, Obed McCoy bowled a high full toss and that full toss was also hit for a 6. But then the Delhi Capitals batsmen were asking the umpires for a possible no ball and the no ball was a, uh, they were asking for a possible waist height no ball. So after that there was a lot of chaos in the Delhi Capitals camp. Rishabh Pant was really furious with the decision that it was not being called a no ball. Along with him, all the other players from the Delhi Capitals camp also stood out and Shardul Thakur was also seen very aggressive in the dugout. Then Rishabh Pant started calling the players back from the field. And after that, it was the skipper Rishabh Pant who told Praveen Ambre to go to the field and talk to the umpires about the possible no ball. So according to me, I think that was really against the spirit of the game. Like the umpire's decision always stands final. Whatever be the cause, it has to be respected. But then during the heat of the moment, things did not go well and Delhi capital skipper lost his school. So later on, when I looked at the replays again and again, it was clearly evident that the point of contact of the ball from Rovman Powell was above the waist height. And he was standing a little bit low and so according to me, it was not a waist height no ball. So from my point of view, the umpires got it right and it was declared as a legitimate delivery. So after the match, there were some sanctions on the Delhi Capitals players. Some match fees were deducted for the skipper Rishabh Pant. And I think going forward, we should not have such controversies in this Tata IPA. So what are your thoughts on this incident? Just type in your comments in the comment section and let me know about it. Stay tuned to my channel for some updates on the Tata IPL 2022 on the upcoming matches. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching.